Okay, so welcome to this first video in the playlist on the heart. In this video, what we're going to do is just do an introductory video to the heart, and uh, we're going to look at the structure of the heart, and uh, we're then going to look at the cardiac cycle, so how the heart actually performs its role of pumping blood from the venous side to the arterial side. Okay, right, so this is going to be an introduction to the heart, so the heart is the title for this video. Right, so we'll start with the structure of the heart. Now I'm going to draw two pictures for the structure of the heart. I'm going to draw a physiological picture of the heart, um, which is anatomical, but for it, the way we are um, slicing the picture is um, it's an unusual slice, it's a difficult slice to visualise where you're actually slicing the heart to get this picture. And really the picture is slightly modified to make it simpler to understand, but it is very, very based on anatomy. You'll see what I mean when I actually draw it. So, the physiological picture we're going to draw looks like this. Okay, so we'll start with the um, right side of the heart here. Okay, so here's the right atrium. Whoops. Here is the right ventricle, here, okay, there, and then on the other side, you then have the left ventricle here, we'll draw the left atrium here, okay, and then the left ventricle coming down here, and then you have a major blood vessel coming out of the left ventricle here, which is the aorta, and then also a major blood vessel coming out of the right uh, ventricle, which is the pulmonary trunk. So let me label some of these things up. So this big uh, artery coming out of the left ventricle here, this represents the aorta. So we might colour in the aorta in red here. So this is the aorta in red here. Okay. Right. Now let's uh, label up some of these chambers. So here is the left ventricle. So this is on the left side of your body. So this is the left side of your body. And this is the right side of your body here. Okay. Um, left and right. So this is the left atrium here. Okay. And the blood vessels which feed into the left atrium, they come from the lungs and they are the four pulmonary veins. So let me draw the four pulmonary veins here. So one, two, three, and here's the fourth one here. So these are the four pulmonary veins. Now, the pulmonary veins are unusual. They're the only veins in the body which carry oxygenated blood because they're coming back from uh, the lungs, basically. So the blood that's coming back from the lungs should be very well oxygenated. So these are the pulmonary veins, okay, which are draining into the left atrium. So pulmonary veins, okay. And then we have this entrance from the left atrium into the left ventricle here. So this is the left ventricle. Okay. Uh, and the valves, the valves that I've sort of shown here, which um, shut the um, entrance between the left atrium and the left ventricle, these are known as the, um, as the bicuspid valves. Okay. They've also got another name. So this is the bicuspid valves or it's also called the mitral valve. Okay, so both of those names you will, valve you will hear um, referred to. Uh, mitral valve is increasing in its use. Bicuspid valve, you hardly ever hear people call it the bicuspid valve anymore. You might also hear it called the left atrioventricular valve. So this could be referred to as the left atrioventricular valves. Atrioventricular valves. Okay, and we'll see the function of those valves later when we do the cardiac cycle. Right, so, um, now let's label up the pieces on this side. So here, again, we have the right ventricle now. Okay, the right ventricle here. And uh, then the chamber feeding into the right ventricle is the right atrium. So this up here is the right atrium. And then you have massive great vena, uh, venous um, blood vessels draining into the right atrium, and these are the superior and inferior vena cava. So here comes a massive great superior vena cava, and I'll just draw the bottom of the inferior vena cava, which 
is implied to be going into here. So here maybe is the hole that uh, it's coming in through, and here's the hole through which the superior vena cava is draining into um, the um, right atrium. Okay, so let me label up those big veins. I'll do them in blue as well. Okay, so this massive great one here is the superior vena cava draining the upper portions of the body, and this is the inferior vena cava draining the lower portions of the body. Okay, so superior vena cava. And the superior vena cava is often abbreviated to SVC for short. So superior vena cava. Or you might hear it referred to as the SVC. Okay, and again, this is the inferior vena cava down here. And again, that's often referred to as the I for inferior, V for vena, and C for cava, IVC. Right, okay, so the blood from the inferior superior vena cava comes into the right atrium. It's then going to go into the right ventricle. And these valves here that close the entrance from the right atrium to the right ventricle, those are also known as the tricuspid valve. Okay, And you might also hear this referred to as the left atrioventricular valve. So the left atrioventricular valve is also another name uh, that people do use for the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is kind of the old name for the left atrioventricular valve. Okay, uh, It doesn't have a name like mitral valve uh, that you can also use. Uh, right, and then the final blood vessel we haven't let yet labelled is this blood vessel here, which is the pulmonary trunk, which is going to bifurcate very quickly into the two pulmonary arteries. So this is the pulmonary trunk. I think the final thing we need to show on this diagram is the valves which close the entrance for, uh, well, they close the entrance to these major blood vessels here um, from the ventricles. So we have valves here as well. And these are known as the semilunar valves in both cases. So these here, the valves uh, between the left ventricle and the aorta, these are called the aortic semilunar valves. So aortic semilunar, which is all one word. Oh dear, it's going into that. Aortic semilunar valves. And these um, valves between the uh, right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk, these are known as the pulmonic or the, just the pulmonary um, semilunar valves. Pulmonary semilunar valves. Okay, right, so this is our physiological picture. It's a good enough anatomical picture, but it's not quite good enough for what we need to understand. Basically, in this picture, it looks like the atria are very far away from each other. That's incorrect. They are not very far away from each other. They're actually sitting next to each other. Uh, and that's important when we discuss the way the um, contraction spreads across the heart. It's important that both the atria are next to each other. So that's why this uh, physiological diagram, although based on the anatomy, and it is roughly, you can see it's in a beautiful heart shape, which is quite nice. And this is very good for understanding the way the blood is going to go between these, uh, but um, it's not quite anatomical. So we're going to draw another picture now, which is closer to the anatomical truth than this picture is.